Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Ragnarok here with part number five of our Repons Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign. I'm gonna pick up where we left off and see if we can uh, get some work done out in the desert. So we were we were gonna attack the ogres. Um though that it would have been a real handful. I don't know. Yeah, what we could have done is encircled the settlement and then separated this army and just broken it up into two different fights. Still, even even if with it being two fights, it would still be, um, I would imagine, kind of tough because it just the sheer numbers that they have. Um, but anyway, um, Archon the Black is making his way into our territory over here, so I think we... Um, we're going to fall back. Uh, we're going to leave the ogres alone for now. And we're going to head back this way to uh, to deal with Archon. I mean, the other option is we could we could uh, boogie on through the ogres' territory and sneak in behind Archon. But um, that's going to leave him uh, free to, uh, to smash up our territory up here. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get on that. Let's head... Um, very well. Head back if you insist. this way my leave. to uh, make sure game. to restock our water supplies along the way. Own. Probably at the pools of despair. Do that. My strength and wisdom are yours. Very well, I go. But, uh, I don't know. Archon hasn't declared war on us yet, but uh, he's primed to attack us. And um, if we can eliminate, I'm pretty sure, based on the balance of power, he's probably got another stack. So if we if we can el eliminate this stack, um, if we can isolate it from his other army, then we should be able to go through there and uh, take his territory. Let's get this upgraded, the tower. Black Tower of Archon. Um, what do we got for a garrison? Not a lot of garrison. So, um, over here, could upgrade this, but I kind of want to get some My more troops. Uh, we're at the capacity for peasants. Get a, uh, a knight's errant to uh, bolster the defenses here. Um, yeah, he's not in. Well, he shouldn't be in range for Al Hike. Al Hike. Uh, he could potentially take Kulfer, uh, which would kind of suck because Kulfer is, uh, Kulfer is our moneymaker. Anyway, um, let's just hope he doesn't do too much damage. Too bad the dwarves here were able to uh, eliminate our friends, but what can you do? Um, I guess we could have, rather than coming into this province, we could have come down here and fought the dwarves, I guess. Um turn is it turn 10 turn 10 already time flies these guys actually like us any uh we got any quick deals available all right ready protector of the realm um we do have to keep an eye out for that is not the wild. pirates of sartosa Keep, uh, keep a lookout for them. They declared war on us, but are not uh, not moving towards us just yet. On the black. In the middle of our territory. Try and move quickly against them. Try and get into position and uh, weird that he just moving right into the middle of our territory, making himself quite the target. Kind of wish I didn't move into the ogre's territory that we, we pulled around this way sooner. But yeah, I was I was planning to. After we did, dealt with the ogres, just planning to uh, to go against them, um, to attack Archon from over here. Technology research. All right, good, good, good. The lady calls me. 
All right, uh, let's just pop you in there. For the lady. Replenish your water and move you to here. I shall go. Don't think he'll attack us there. Um, Sally pop you in go. here first. On walk. There. Uh, we are in force march, though. So That's the only, only My real worry. Is yours. Make sure everybody is in range of the uh, My steps are guided. reinforcements. Yes. Ah, shit. This guy. This guy is out on his own. I will indulge you. There's Archon. There. Lord Let's of move Watonia. you right there. You should be safe there. there. Do you know who I am? All right. Um. Grab another one of these. Two turns. Oh. Another one of those, and then let's, uh, let's upgrade. Upgrade that. Slowly building up this force. We'll probably transfer these knights errant into. Rapunzel's army. I'd like to get her to a full stack of um of knights, but at the same time, we've got to got to worry about these guys. But they, I guess, they are um bogged down with um. I will parley with you. No, they're only but at war with I us. I don't like what I hear. You'll only be at on war your with way us. To Ready to swordfish. Um, border princes. Yes. Oh fuck! They're almost. Almost knocked out of the game. I was going to ask them to... Hope your words are wise. Can you ask them to join war with other factions? Minus 31. Oop. Almost gave them a threat there. Alright, what are we going to research next? Code of Conduct... Those don't seem particularly great. This does improve our diplomatic relations with Chevalier de Lyonese. Diplomatic relations with dwarves. Tomb kings. Hmm. What if... Growth plus four wouldn't be too bad. Get our settlements grown up. I'm kind of thinking, what if we did Kings of the Desert Diplomacy and got on better relations with, um, with Cetra? Uh, it's not going to work. Plus 50 is not going to help. <laughs> it's too much. Too far gone. Um, all right. Never mind. Never mind. Um... You know what? Let's um Desert Purge decree. Let's Oh, we've already got that. Is it? Um so let's do let's do the high seas just so that we have it for when we um when we battle Sartosa. Um yeah. All right. Yeah, Nagash. Followers of Nagash. Um, I'm just thinking here, after we defeat Nagash, are we going to try and consolidate, like, I'd really like to consolidate this whole area, but we might have to come up here and fight the Pirates of Sartosa first. Um, these guys, we could actually probably get non-aggression if we really My long beard. survive. Alright, I think we'll end the turn. Yeah, I would say our empire is uh, is very fragile right now. That if we any kind of um... where is he going? Okay. All right. Um, a smart move, Archon. Moving through my lands in Force March, though. Maybe. Hmm. Head it back the other way. I was just thinking, like, maybe he's headed to fight Cetra. We could just... could 
uh, theoretically just let him go, <laughs> let him go fight Cetra, and then um, while he's gone, go attack his lands. Um, it looks like where he's headed. I I would imagine he might starts off at war with Cetra. But, uh, I don't know. I mean, at the same time, though, I mean, it's, uh, it's a perfect opportunity for us to get rid of him. He's a long ways from Cetra's territory. What, uh, out of curiosity, are they at war with Cetra? Oh, yeah, he is at war with Cetra. Yeah, so that looks like where he's headed. It looks like he's headed to go fight Cetra. God, yeah, I don't know. It's really tempting to let him go. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. Blessings of the lady might as well. He's right here. We might as well get rid of him. I see you. All right, who's going to uh, participate ah, in this attack? Yes. yes. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Blessings of the lady. Striking out. Going forth. Glory awaits. She speaks, I listen. Do you know who I am? It shall be so. I serve the lady. Yeah, that explains why he's uh, he's moving through our territory. He wants to get after uh, after Cetra. But yeah, at the same time, if we let him go, um, it's a little bit unreliable. He might linger here. You never know. Ah, uh, shit. Um, actually, yeah, have you as reinforcing, and you can make the attack. Oh, you know what we could do? Maybe we get on. Maybe we can get on good terms with uh, with Cetra here. Look at that look at that. Two hundred and fifty-two gold. Uh, is there anything? You know, can't get non-aggression. Yeah, because I, I, I don't want to have to go further east while we like we've got pirates up here that need to be sorted out. Armored in faith, honor and glory. What's this banner do? A melee defense plus two. Assigned melee infantry units. Yes. Um, what does this do? Guess we'll give that to you. Not really. Banner would be better for Cav Army. Put it on. Maybe give it to Raponce and uh, put it on the Questing Knights. Uh, a little bit of Dire Wolves and some Hex Rates. We'll fight it. I mean, this is one that we probably could auto resolve, though I, I'm kind of a little bit. a little bit untrustworthy of the auto resolve now after what happened. The. Uh, what happened earlier. Earlier in the campaign. Just back it up. Make two rows of archers. Not and ready. Person Bowman. Squares. And then stretch out nice and wide. These guys. In position there. We are ready! 
Guard mode. All right, I think we're ready to go here. Oh shit, we gotta wait for these guys. I Yeah. I don't know. Playing other Total Wars and the you know the other Total Wars reinforcements show up right away, right? And <laughs> it's a little bit of a change waiting for the reinforcements. A little bit more realistic. The reinforcements taking uh taking extra time to get on the field. But definitely puts us in danger. The only thing is the uh the maps are kind of small in this that um maybe we should have set up in the corner there. Noble and pious Quick no! What don't you know? We fight for Britonia! Quickly lads! Squares! Guys are taking the time. Come on, those reinforcements. By the lady. Interesting strategy just to come over here and stand there. Um, I guess I shouldn't complain. Allowing us to. Uh, Get right in there and smash them. Arrows ready. So we get in behind. Run, man. Lord of Britonia. Fire. Let's get over here. Slay them. Doing your bidding. True Bretonian. God damn it. Where are you going? The lady sword. My artillery. Spearman at arms. My poor artillery. Legit. Bowman. Guys get lined up. At once. Quick march. What are we doing here? Repulse the Leone. What's up? We go! Let's get you guys over here. You guys, Run! Right yes. Well, that kind There's of uh, kind of sucked. I guess I need a little bit of practice with the, uh, the army man. here. The army composition. Nice you guys, get out of there. You get right out front. And you guys kind of get in behind. Guys, come over here. I didn't have a chance to group them up. And circle around them. Oh fuck, we gotta watch out for ah uh, Fighters Yeah Rushapti. God damn. Well I was wondering why our my freaking Swiftly uh, <laughs> the My uh Archers were taking so much damage. Orders, my lord. That back row. Man of God damn. Should have ought to resolve this. For the king! Bowman. Sloppy, sloppy again. Oh my god, my micro! Where is the micro? We, we need to get around and get shut down these these fucking archers. 
Lord of Bretonia! Swiftly! The lady wills it! To battle! For the lady! Good God, we're gonna have to be a lot better than this if we're gonna fight Cetra eventually. That is for sure. Let's get out of there. Four archers. We've almost got it here. Moving a base. Hastily. With haste. There. Oh, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Playing too much historical Total War. I'm not, uh, can't keep up with the, uh, the micro you need for Warhammer. I mean, we got the win, and we didn't take too much damage, but it have definitely been a cleaner victory for sure. Yeah, now we gotta um, we gotta get into his territory as quickly as possible. Beware the guardians of the underworld who stalk among us. Inscription carved into a tomb, scorpion of Numas. And archers got wrecked. Take the cash. Blessings of the All right. lady be upon uh, you. Where's Raponce? The Leoness. Ponce, um, let's give her. This, yeah, that's standard. Oh, we got a student that's not in play. Um, with that as well. Buckstone. All right. Uh, what are we gonna get? What are we gonna upgrade her with? Uh, we've got this finished. Do I don't want that? Oh, let's some um, sink points into there. Uh, these are kind of kind of a waste. I guess the bonded. I don't know. Oh, you have to have blade. Justice is swift and divine. Uh, outside of the settlement. Hyas. Right, let's start moving back this way, replenish our water supplies, I am ready. The lady calls start me. making our way My over there. Cannot march. Lord. Lord. This bloke, hard to hit, sounds good. Um, I will indulge you. Very well, if you insist. Stay together. I have seen your heart. Fortune favors you. Finish off Earth Blood. The lady is with you. Making my way. Your coming was foretold. That way. And Do you know who I am? This guy. We'll do lowborn lowborn uh my lowborn militia next. I will indulge you. Um, why don't we of the realm. merge those two? Of the lady be upon you. Uh, 
And we'll stay in the settlement. We, he won't be that far behind. If the lady wills it. And then we can transfer this guy over and that gives him a full stack. Valiant Lord. My strength and wisdom are yours. Upgrade this. Lord and hero. And we're out of cash. And Fate this guy will stay behind and we'll start recruiting some more um yes. some more garrison forces. But we gotta Gotta make our way down to La Chique. I wonder how quickly they're gonna be able to um, replenish their forces. Tomb Kings, Tomb Kings replenish typically pretty quickly. Yes. Honor before glory. Welcome, friends. Let's hope. All right. Protector of the realm. But yeah, it might have, I think, it might have been smarter to let Archon make his way over here. Um, but there's, the thing is, it's hard to predict what the AI is going to do sometimes. Sometimes they just act a little bit um, random, but yeah, we could have, we could have moved into his territory. But the, the other thing is, too, as soon as we come down here and attack him, we could have moved the army back this way. It's another, another possibility. Speak before I decide you. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> That's what I get for leaving the ogres. Oh man, that freaking sucks. As there's nothing uh there's nothing down here that we can do to defend against them. None may direct my recipe. I mean, unless we do a total 360. I think I think we push against Nagash and we worry about the ogres later um, and just hope the ogres don't do too much damage down here My reputation precedes god me. damn it uh. yeah you know what if I had I thought about what Archon was actually doing if I had realized that he was he was moving towards Cetra maybe we would have attacked I would have attacked the ogres Lord uh, I don't know if I want to force march over here, though. That's the thing. We've got to get here. Uh, we kind of got to get here quickly. How far can you get on the force march? Moving out. Oh my god, we got beastmen over here too. All right, he's recruiting. Maybe they just uh, maybe Archon only did have the one army. But yeah, we'll come around this way and eventually get a, back over here to fight the ogres. Uh, that sucks. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose a lot of territory there. But hopefully, we can um, we? we can capture territory more quickly than Protector of the realm than the ogres. Your behest? Yes. Moving out. We have met before. Repulse de Leon! I see you. Guardian! That's the artillery taking a little while. Yes. Alright, uh, you pop back in there and. Yeah, so we've got an enemy, enemy up here, enemy down here, and enemy down here. Wonder if we should cancel this. It'll give us a little bit more of a garrison, though. Or at least it should. Do you know uh, maybe I we'll am? go with three of these. I will butcher any who interfere. Yeah, I mean, on the bright side, it will split the ogre's forces. Um, so, I mean, that is one good thing. Um, I would love to get... Uh, Make your proposal. 
non-aggression with these guys because the last thing last thing we need is for the dwarfs to clear war on us now too um Lord of Bretonia. Yeah, things are about to get messy. Oh, look at this. Are they gonna make the attack on us here oh my god we're not getting the reinforcements of our other troops um I think um, I think I'm gonna take the pair casualties medium no nobody gets wiped out we get reinforcements and they're all completely wiped out um what yeah take it that was really weird of them to do that um but yeah i guess yeah this army is a little bit trailed behind them but that should leave um archon's lands pretty much open so we need to uh, scoop that territory up as quickly as possible And then deal with the ogres. Let's just hope that these guys don't um, don't raise this territory. Fuck. Fucking ogres. Well, I guess these nobblers don't count for a lot a lot of damage in those fights. So much for my assumption that uh, we can take territory more quickly than the AI can. But yeah, we're just gonna have to wipe out Archon as quickly as possible, and then and then deal with the Ogres. And make sure they don't get past El Hai... Hai Casualty replenishment would be nice, but that income from farms. We don't have a lot of farms. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Should have done the other one. Yeah, I probably should have canceled the, the building here. Fuck me sideways. Fucking ogres. Sorry. Excuse my language, guys. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to finish off Argon, and um, we'll get after the Ogres. Ah, it's such a long way to come around. I mean, we could... I don't know, guys. What, like... The other option is to, to turn back around and fight the Ogres head on this way. I just I feel like I'm in a game of ping pong here, back and forth. Um, I don't know. I, I think... Coming down here and taking out Archon first, and then dealing with the Ogres second is the way to go. Um, and then yes. holding the line here at El Haik. Um, Guardian of Bretonia. My magic is yours. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If we should uh, if we should backtrack and uh, and fight the Ogres. If we do that, then obviously Archon is going to have time to rebuild. I think I think now is the opportunity to strike against Archon or could try and split our forces, um, which I don't think would be a good idea. But uh, anyway, guys, that's it for today. A uh, bit of a mess, but hopefully we can uh, we can get it cleared up here in the next uh, 
The next five to ten turns. Probably, probably ten turns, ten to fifteen turns. I don't know. See how it goes. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Ragnarok signing out.